Cactus Flower, a movie from the late 60s, remains a popular and memorable film. But why has it stayed relevant for so long? Is it because of its engaging story, impressive acting, or something more? Let's dive into what makes this movie special. This film captures the ups and downs of relationships and love in a way that people still find relatable. Its mix of humor and real-life challenges draws viewers in. The acting feels authentic and adds a lot of laughs, making it a standout in romantic comedies. Now, it's your turn. Do you have a special memory or personal connection with Cactus Flower? Maybe it reminded you of a funny time in your life or touched you on a deeper level. Share your stories and memories in the comments. Your experiences add to the ongoing relevance and appreciation of this movie. The movie we're talking about really made a big splash when it came out. It wasn't just your typical romantic comedy. It had a new way of looking at relationships that people really connected with. The story was all about mix-ups and complicated love stories, and audiences loved it. This was clear from how well it did with critics and movie agors. This film didn't just do well at the box office, it changed things. It became a key example in its genre, influencing how romantic comedies were made and thought of afterward. It led the way in showing that these kinds of movies could be funny, but also feel real when it comes to love. It set a bar for other movies to reach. Talking about its lasting effects, the movie inspired different versions and related projects. One big example is the Broadway play that came from it, which was originally based on a French play. The film's story and how its characters interacted have been seen in many other works since, showing how it has stayed relevant in how romantic comedies tell stories. Also, the film is remembered for its characters and the things they said which have become well known in popular culture. The main actors were especially good, praised for how they delivered their lines and brought depth to the comedy. While not as big as some movie franchises, merchandise and spin-offs also helped keep the movie in people's minds. Fans could connect with the film through different items, keeping its spirit alive in their daily lives. In short, this film really made a difference in its time and continues to shape the romantic comedy genre and popular culture. Its mix of humor and real feelings about love set a pattern that many other films have tried to follow. The movie is still loved today for its unique perspective on love and relationships. The film under discussion highlights a unique aspect of casting that defies common expectations. Notably, the age dynamic between Julian and Stephanie is reversed in reality. Walter Matthau, portraying Julian, was actually five years younger than Ingrid Bergman, who played Stephanie. This casting choice adds an interesting layer to their on-screen relationship, challenging the typical age norms seen in romantic films of that era. Furthermore, the role of Tony Simmons, which eventually brought acclaim to Goldie Hawn, was initially offered to Tuesday Weld. Hawn's portrayal not only defined her career, but also earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This achievement is particularly significant as it was the sole Oscar recognition for the film. Hans' award underscores the impact of her performance and highlights the critical success of her character in the narrative. These casting facts contribute to a deeper understanding of the film's dynamics and the impact of its characters. The age reversal between Matt Thau and Bergman and Hans' celebrated performance demonstrate how casting choices can profoundly influence a film's reception and legacy. This movie is one of the best-loved love stories in American film history, making it onto the American Film Institute's 22 list for the top romantic movies in America. This shows how much people still enjoy this romantic comedy. An interesting part of the movie is the 1969 Cadillac Eldorado driven by Dr. Winston. This car choice adds to his character and leads to a funny moment when the car is tow wood while they're at a Manhattan nightclub. Dr. Winston's joke about doctors and parking adds a bit of humor, showing how the movie mixes comedy with normal life situations. Goldie Hawn's role as Tony Simmons is a big part of the movie's success. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, which was surprising because she was known as a dumb blonde from her time on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. This film was a turning point in her career, proving she could take on serious roles beyond just funny or light characters. Her achievement shows her talent and how the movie changed the way audiences think about actors and what they can do. These elements make the movie special and still relevant. It mixes humor with real-life scenarios and surprising casting, creating an enjoyable and memorable film experience. The movie is still loved for its unique way of telling a story and developing characters in a romantic comedy. 
Exploring lesser known aspects of the film, it's notable that an incomplete cast list leaves out certain performers. One such example is the character Marcia, Tony's colleague at the record store. Despite having a significant presence on screen with almost two minutes of runtime and 10 lines of dialogue, her role remains uncredited. This oversight is particularly striking considering she has more dialogue than some credited actors like Eve Bruce and certainly more than the young man with beard. Goldie Hawn's role in the film is another interesting point. Although she received an introducing credit, this was not her debut in films. A year earlier, she appeared in a small role in the one and only genuine original family band billed as Goldie Jean. This fact challenges the common perception of the film marking her cinematic debut. A unique detail within the film's narrative is the inclusion of a particular cocktail, the Mexican Missile. Featured prominently towards the film's conclusion, this drink does exist in real life. Contrary to what might be assumed from the film, the actual recipe for a Mexican Missile Sunrise involves a mix of gin, silver tequila, orange juice, grenadine syrup, and strawberry schnapps served over ice. The mention of this drink in the film adds a layer of authenticity to the story while also humorously hinting at the consequences of indulging in such a potent mix. These details, from the overlooked role of Marcia to the revelation of Han's earlier film appearance and the real-life recipe of a featured cocktail, contribute to a deeper appreciation of the film. They offer insights into the nuances of film production, casting decisions, and the incorporation of real-life elements into a film's narrative, enriching the viewer's understanding and engagement with the story. This movie is known for a few special things, including a funny moment with Walter Matthau in an art gallery. The original script by Izzy Diamond had a scene in an op art gallery where a character jokingly says an artist might have cheated and used a ruler while looking at a geometric painting. But when they actually filmed it, they were in a sculpture gallery with a round sculpture. They kept the line about the ruler anyway, which was funny because it didn't really make sense for a round sculpture. This shows how sticking too closely to a script can lead to funny mistakes. Also, this film was the last one Barbara Randolph acted in. Her acting career isn't very famous, but being in this movie is important. Goldie Hawn's acting as Tony Simmons is a big reason why the movie did well. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for this role, which was a big deal since she was usually known for comedy. This award was a major moment in her career, proving she could do different kinds of roles. Han's performance in the movie added a lot to its charm and success. These parts of the movie, the funny line mishap with Matt Thau, Randolph's last role, and Han's award-winning acting make the movie special in film history. They show the unexpected parts of making movies, how actors' roles can leave a lasting impact, and how the film industry recognizes talent. Understanding these aspects gives us a better idea of why the movie is memorable and appealing.